hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a very productive day productive quarantine and if not that's okay no judging here today i wanted to do a video about my skincare favorites and like give you a little more detail on why i like to use these products and how i use them so let's get to it okay so before i get started on showing you all my products um i just want to show you guys so i'm not wearing any makeup this is my skin how it is i'll give you guys a close-up okay so with that being said i'm gonna start my skincare products like favorites in order as i use them the first product I'm going to be showing you guys is my cleanser. The cleanser I use is from the brand Sephora. It's this one right here. And I believe it's only, don't quote me on this, but maybe 20 bucks or 12 bucks. I'm not sure. But this is the Amino Acid Clean Skin Gel. And it's supposed to cleanse and tone your skin. It's good for face, eyes, and neck. Most of the products that they have in their skincare line are supposed to be from like all natural ingredients. As you can see at the bottom, it says 99% ingredients from natural origin, which means it should be like a clean skincare line. And for me, I have a combination type of skin, which I get dry sometimes around this area, but I'm mostly oily around this area. You can say I'm like more oily than dry, but it depends also on the season and like how the weather is. And this is what it looks like. It's a gel and it foams up super nice. It's super delicate on the skin. It has a nice scent to it. Okay, so that is my cleanser and I use that cleanser to do my one minute wash which means I'm going to be applying some of my cleanser to my silicone facial brushes which I really recommend getting silicone instead of like a bristled brush. They store less bacteria and they're easier to clean and they get right in there to your pores like they get everything so I do recommend getting a silicone brush. Um, I got mine on Amazon. The link to these should be on my last video and it comes with a pack of four, so I think that's really good. Brush my face for a whole minute, non-stop, whole minute, and then I rinse. That's how it's been working for me. It's been helping me keep my pores clean. I struggled a lot with like little blackheads around my nose and maybe storing some of that like oils around here I had no more blackheads my nose was super soft and then i was not storing any more like oils right here also like my pores looked smaller for some reason so if you struggle with bigger pores or like storing of the oils or just a little blackheads around your nose i really recommend you try the one minute trick and you can use a cleanser that works for you as long as you wash for a whole minute up next we have my exfoliator and for that i also have the sephora brand exfoliator and it's this one right here i showed it on my last video as well because i bought it for my haul this is the sephora brand volcanic sand bright skin exfoliating scrub and it says 97 percent ingredients from natural origin so it varies on the product it says at the bottom but this one is 97 percent this is only 12 dollars and it's amazing every time you get a new product i would recommend like reading the directions that it gives you because it's giving you directions for a reason so i only use it twice a week i normally use it when i'm in the shower because my pores are already open from the steam of the hot water and everything so i wash my face and exfoliate at the end of my shower and if i'm not in the shower i just use some warm water to open up my pores while i'm washing my face and then i exfoliate well it's not gonna focus but you can kind of see the little bumps right there and it's the volcanic sand those little bumps exfoliate so well it feels so nice on the skin for that i do use my fingertips i do not use a brush because the exfoliant is already rough for your skin and you don't want to create micro tears on your skin so i would recommend just doing it softly massage your face let it sit for a few seconds and then just rinse so in the topic of exfoliating i want to show you guys something that i showed also in my last video which is a chemical exfoliant and it's from the brand the ordinary the one that everyone has been using recently which is the red mask chemical exfoliants are really good because they work from the inside out 
and they also help you with scarring so if you have any scars from like acne scars or, or just like little pimple marks that you can't get rid of this one is really good i've been using it since i got it you're supposed to use it i think twice a week as well so if i'm gonna be using my chemical exfoliant i am not gonna be exfoliating with a physical exfoliant just because I, again i don't want to damage my skin in any way so i either pick and choose like maybe i'll do chemical exfoliant one week and then i'll do physical exfoliant the next it definitely created more like a smooth canvas for me i had a little bit of texture and i feel like that really helped me get rid of that it's also a product that works with time so you're not gonna see results you might see that your skin seems smoother it seems healthier but it's not gonna be perfect or like like silky smooth right away so it does take time but if you're willing to take the time to like help your skin out i would really recommend getting this and the brand the ordinary is affordable so if you can't afford to get a high-end chemical exfoliator i would really recommend this one after i've done my cleansing and my exfoliating i like to go ahead and use a toner to just complete remove everything or anything that stayed in my pores and then just take my skin's pH back to how it was so normally this bottle would be full because I love this product and it's also from the ordinary it's a glycolic acid 7% toning solution this product is amazing I've made people buy it like your skin's pH is really important because that also determines how your skin is going to act in general for example, if you are producing too much oil, it means your skin is not fully like hydrated or you're just stripping away all your natural oils that some of those oils are good. So maybe your cleanser is not good or little things like that. And your pH of your skin should always be leveled to avoid any irregularities. As you can see, I love it. This is my third bottle. So I do use it every day. I never 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 forget to tone if i'm going out to a friend's house if i'm gonna go to a trip if i'm going to vacation whatever i'm gonna take my toner this thing is just i swear by it and this was the first thing i bought of my skincare before i ever had like a skincare routine and this helped me clean my face there are other type of chemicals that i like to use on my face but again if i'm using one type of chemical like the peeling solution or the chemical exfoliant i'm not going to be using the other type of chemical because i don't want to damage my skin and if i'm not using that chemical exfoliant and i'm using my physical exfoliant I normally would use my a high strength lactic acid super superficial peeling formulation and it's only to be used once a day I use it at night again it's just like common sense there's chemicals that you can use and it's okay like nothing happens to your face but I would rather use them at night to avoid any type of hypopigmentation any type of sun damage to my skin I'd rather be smart about it and use my chemicals at night so i would recommend you do the same like if you're using any type of chemical use it at night but this product right here was also really good on removing or helping me out with my texture and my scars my face just looked healthier my skin just looked plumper my skin just just looked like like i would drink a gallon of water a day which I don't the next product that i have is a peptide which is also from the brand the ordinary as you can see i really like that brand and this is the high strength peptide formulation with it's the matrix cell 10 percent plus ha which stands for hydrolonic acid but this has really helped me to to keep a youthful look and i'll tell you why this product is good for fine lines and wrinkles i would really recommend adding a peptide to your skincare just because it does help you have that youthful look which everyone wants you know that healthy skin this is great and for the price i love it this is my second bottle already and as you can see i'm about to head to my third one of my last products is gonna be your eye cream i haven't found an eye cream that i love just because i haven't really tried many but right now i'm using the kylie skin um the kylie skin eye cream i don't have really any complaints i don't have any like 
Oh my God, I love it. It's been like perfect for me, but it does a job. So if you are looking for a eye cream, I've used this one. I still like don't know if it's the one I love. So maybe I'll find one soon. Okay, now going towards moisturizer. I have shared this on my Instagram, I believe. This is just my favorite moisturizer ever. Like I said, I have combination skin, leaning more towards oily skin, and this still works for me. This is a vitamin enriched face base, which it should be like a primer for makeup. This is an all-in-one primer and moisturizer, and it's just full of vitamins, and it's just skin food, you know? It smells great, it has like a lemony smell and it's just yellow. It leaves your skin just feeling moisturized. Like, I know that sounds like, dude, what the, like off cars, it's a moisturizer, but it just feels moisturized. I feel like I've used so many moisturizers before that I apply them and then 10 minutes later, my face just feels dry again. It doesn't clog any of my pores. Moisturizer is essential for your skincare. So I would recommend picking a good one. This one is from the brand Bobbi Brown and I believe it's like $60, but it's worth it. If you want to invest on something, as you can see, all my skincare is affordable except my moisturizer. And that is because I need that. Like I need that to, so my skin can feel good and I can feel good and I can feel happy with it. So I would invest on a good so more. For my last product, I have the most important, which is sunscreen. I thought I did not need sunscreen. I thought I was good without it, but no, I suffer from getting freckles. So obviously that is one type of sun damage. I watched this video of this girl, which I'm gonna link below because I feel like it's really helpful for people I think she has dry skin, so if you have dry skin, some of the products that work for her might work for you. I bought this product from watching her video, and it's the Milani Prime Protect SPF 30 Face Primer. SPF 30 is really good for your face, and not only that, this affordable primer, or sunblock, whatever you want to call it, it has protection, it has UVA and UVB protection. It's protecting you not only from the sunlight, but also from artificial lighting, which is something that we don't think about or think that it will damage your skin. I wear it every time I'm gonna be out or if I know I'm gonna be in a room where a lot of artificial lighting. This one retails for, I believe, 13 or $15, so it's affordable. I bought it at Walmart. It does not leave a white cast at all. I tried the flash trick and everything, and it does not leave a white cast. I've used it under makeup before. If you can't find a high-end one that you love, buy yourself an affordable one because you need to protect your face. Last thing that I'm gonna mention of the things that I use for my skincare are my skincare tools. I already showed you guys the first ones, which are going to be my silicone face brushes. But for my other two products, I have this, which is, last time I called it a washa, but I believe it's called wasa, or that's what I heard. But this is really good for lymphatic drainage. Again, like you store liquids right here. So sometimes if you feel like your double chain is coming in, it might just be liquid that you're retaining right here and you need to drain so i would recommend getting one of these so you can drain all that out so you can sculpt your face and it's affordable this was ten dollars at on amazon i also left the link on my other video and then lastly i have this roller i bought this at walmart i think for ten dollars as well it's a rose quartz roller i like to use it when i'm applying any serums i use a big roller for around the big areas of my skin and then the small one for like around my nose around my eyes i like to keep these in a cool storage so like my mini fridge or just i used to put them on my regular freezer so they could be super super cold and they help you deep puff in the mornings okay so this was it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed just looking at all my skincare favorites and my skincare tools that i normally use on the daily i hope you guys share this with your family with your friends like this video subscribe you already know turn on your post notifications let me know if you guys want to see any other type of videos down in the comments or you can go ahead and dm me or something i've been kind of busy with schoolwork just because i gotta stay on track on my online classes but other than that i do have plenty of time in my hands to be doing videos for you guys but yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram so i can so you can keep up on my little surveys that i do or any products that i post see you guys on my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below bye